So, uh, where have I been? You know, that's that's probably one of the best things to ask myself right now because I've been a lazy jerk to you guys. Um, why am I panning around my basement? Well, I'm just showing you what kind of a mess it is. What I'm dealing with here is tons of Nerf guns and tons of ammunition and like there's stuff over there. All my Merc. <clears throat> I'll I'll do a I'll do a uh I will do, I, and I promise you this, I will 100% do a, a tour of this place once I get it cleaned up, because it's obviously a mess. Some uh, pawn shop stuff, some cool stuff over here, like the mag strike, love it. Um, but anyways, where have I been? Well, I've been busy, and I don't even understand if that's something I want to be uh, completely honest about. I've just been very busy, you know? And, uh, I don't know how to easily explain this, but my content isn't going to start ramping up anytime soon. Let me explain. There's just nothing to easily tell you guys when I'm being completely honest to you. I mean, there's, no, there's no easy way, I should say, of telling you that this is an easy thing for me to do. But I am going to 100% stay off for gaming for a little. I know, I know. Four-Eyed Gaming Guy, and Four-Eyed Gaming Guy isn't making gaming videos. I know, it's appalling, I know. See, see, here's the thing about the gaming videos. I'm not seeing any originality in the community. There's people who get a lot of hate for not being original. But the way I see it, there's almost no way to stay original, No way, almost no way to stay original, in this community, you need to have something that makes you different, and but you have to have something that makes you yourself. As at the same time, have something that makes you similar to other people, because people are going to be able to easily uh, identify with that. Like, there, for example, I subscribed to a guy named the Gaming Historian because he makes gaming videos, and I liked him because I was already introduced to stuff like Digital you know Gaming, or I liked this guy Ant Dude because he did these. S kind, similarly critical, a little bit cynical, funny review styles that I liked of pe other people in a style, in a like, a loadout style that's similar to like someone like Chatronic, Chadtronic, or if you couldn't tell over my terrible English, but I, I just want to make that apparent that that's just me trying to be original, plus my capture card. If for the life of me, if I could get that thing working. But I do have an upgraded camera. This camera, this webcam, is pretty decent. It's high quality. It, it's light settings on the grays. It's 1080p. It's 60 frames per second. It's shooting at a pretty decent overall software. The actual the actual camera quality itself isn't the greatest. It's a little only it's much better than like an iPhone 5. Uh, not six quality and certainly not action camera quality, but still better than most camcorders and better than most webcams. It's similar to that of a webcam, at least, because, I, like I said, it's it's pretty much a webcam, but that's why I gotta apologize about the quality. But, anyways, it's certainly better when um I'm not wanting to show my face, but I just want to show my torso. I know that's probably really boring. Maybe I can fiddle with something just to uh, try to entertain you. See, the thing is, um, I've been wanting to play some games or do reviews on games like this, like Majora's Mask, Majora's Mask, for an example. And I like doing modification guides. I like, I want it, I want to be a person who can do three or four, I really should say, main things. Reviews on anything I want. Nerf, nerf content, which is nerf wars, nerf reviews, nerf just fun in general. Gaming videos, which can be Let's Plays, it can be No Patience For, it can be, uh, excuse me, not No Patience For, it can be Let's Plays, it can be uh, explanation videos, it can just be unscripted stuff, it can be just any kind of playthrough I want to do. Uh, and, and by the way, like I said earlier, reviews, that counts as gaming too, so I, I don't count g games in the game category, I count that as reviews, because... Gaming reviews are just reviews, in my opinion. And then the fourth one is the no patience for format and that kind of stuff. Because I, you know what? I'm a passionate guy. I'm not hateful, but I'm passionate. So I, d 
I like to rant, for, to be honest with you. Sometimes I don't like to rant. Sometimes it just gets obnoxious and annoying. But you can obviously tell by the way I'm rambling to you people that I like to do that kind of format. So I'm going to continue at it. Plus, no patience for only take about four or three to four hours to make. It takes almost no editing and it just and it's my natural reactions. It's not exactly cash grabs because it's the hardest to get out. Plus, people don't really like that hateful content on YouTube that puts towards things that aren't necessarily most important, especially when I'm talking about odd things and stuff that's just important to me, even though it's been important to a tons of other people. So that's why that might not be as a cash grab per se, but it's certainly easy and I certainly enjoy it. And that's why now that I got my upgraded camera and my GoPro and I can actually use my uh, Microsoft movies and I can use, use Photoshop very easily now, that's the most important thing to me is to be completely honest with you guys about my content. Now, this being said, my channel is kind of at this point famous for update videos. Continuous, sporadic, stupidly um, overcomplicated or simple even update videos, which are really annoying and I totally understand. Uh, sorry, I'm just looking at my uh, games. I totally understand what you, what, why people might freaking hate that. Um, but you know what I wanted to do? I don't see a lot of Halo content out there, so I wanted to do some Halo. And I wanted to play Destiny raids, because that's actually pretty entertaining. Not from me, but, like, I'm not saying it from me. I'm actually saying it from other people, what they've told me. So, like I said, I got some games here I want to show you. I want like to play Halo 4 and Halo Reach, but that's a download on my Xbox. Smash Brothers, I know that's not exactly the most original thing, but people aren't really playing it as much anymore unless they're talking about competitive stuff, and I would love to do that. Mario Maker, because I love making levels and I love sharing with you guys. I will post, I not this video, but next time I will post my uh, Wii U Gamer Guy, maybe even my Xbox. This is Destiny. I mean, I kind of like it. I would like to do that. Halo 3. And then I said reviews on sophisticated games and stuff that's really important to me. So, I mean, overall, I want that to be my set home. My set home goal for you guys is to show that I can do some original content, but I also am not going to be completely original because I would love to put a standpoint of people that are really young. There's not really a lot of young YouTubers out there. I can think of a good... I mean, Jimmy Wetzel's like 18 now, so he doesn't really count in my opinion. And I can think of like one person, and that's 11-year-old. And the only reason she's popular, I'm not trying to hate on her fully, uh, is because she's... Or her subreddit was put up. But that's probably what I need, <laughs> to be honest with you. Subreddit was put up with uh, Pyrocynical, and that was completely fraudulent, but it was also popular, so you know what, good good on her, but she's the mouth of Pyrocynical and Leafy, so I mean, but uh, that, if you don't know who that is, I think it's, her name is Lieutenant Carbis, or Carbiz, I don't really know how to pronounce her, but you'll, if you look her up, you'll know, she's like an 11 year old girl, so my point is, I want to do something of a 14, 13, slash 13 year old, I'm 14 now, but originally I wanted to do a sort of 13, of someone who's pretty young doing this, and explaining his opinions and also being a demographic that can go with the like Disney shows for example and be able to give you a completely objective and and even subjective a feeling on it and that's why my age limit like I said one of my first update videos I, as a youngster which really helps but that being said I hope that doesn't throw anyone away because uh just because I'm young does not mean I'm, that's going to be my own thing. Because I, I, I would like that to be one of my things. Because I there's not that much originality. She, uh, Lieutenant Carbis, she even said it herself. There's not that much originality you can have on YouTube anymore. Because there, like, there's almost no genuine ideas in this in the community, or any communities for this matter. People can just keep innovating and it goes somewhere eventually. But, you know, there's just, just there's not a lot you can do with that. But, um, thank you for watching. Thank you so much. You guys have been a real thank to me. I'm 32 subscribers strong. It doesn't seem like the biggest subscriber count. But you know what? It's certainly something I love. I really hope this community can grow. You guys, though, I need your help to make this grow. So, uh, share with your friends. Um, especially people at my school, I would love you to share. Uh, 
32 subscribers is amazing, trust me, but I would like for this to be a thing where I could seriously look at it because I want to I want to find this as something I want to enjoy. I want YouTube to be that. And I I know that's just like another kid chasing his dreams for YouTube and that's like a, not a huge deal, but because it's just everything, like what everyone's doing and you know, it's like kind of pathetic at this point cuz like, oh, anyone can do it and it's not a real job, whatever. That entire that's in its own debate, but the O bunny is gonna be a meme. I, I I'm I'm so sorry, but um, that's like I was saying that is that's very important to me. That that I'm not just looked at as some kid who just wants to be famous. I don't want to be famous. I want to do this to enjoy it. But I would like to have some fame with that. I know fame does things to people, and I don't want to turn out like that. But I wouldn't mind recollection. I wouldn't mind to be join normal boots or hidden block in my distant future. Because I could be the youngin' uh, along a bunch of older kids. Because that's, for me, that I want to be able to stand with the greats. Even though I'm younger and I, I'm skilled and I want a political and... I want my maturity to come across to you people. I want to be one of them despite my age. And that's why I, this is important to me. Because if I inspire at least one person, like they've inspired me, that's a job well done. So, uh, thank you guys. Sorry that the game, like I said, gaming is going to be held off for a little, but it will soon be a thing. Uh, thank you so very much. Stay great. I'm still thinking of an intro, outro, but um, you guys have been great, though. See ya.